Well, hey there, this is Jerry bringing you another episode of What's Broke Today. And I um, thought, you know, I needed to check out the starter on the Polaris Explorer 300. So um, I got the battery put back in it. Um, I got my test light. I'll start out by clipping on the negative side of the battery. I got power at the battery. I turn the key on. And, of course, we can... Here our starter solenoid clicking. So I'm going to go down to the solenoid on the battery side. And I still have power when I hit the button. I'm going to go to the starter side. And of course, I don't know if you can see, but <clears throat> my light lights up when we um, do the uh, positive side of the, or the starter side of the starter solenoid. I'm going to crawl underneath here and put my uh, alligator clip on the starter. I put the alligator clip on the uh, stud instead of the wire. And then I'm going to put my other end on the battery negative, and then we'll hit the starter button. And So I am getting power down to the starter. So let me get things ready. Um, let's pull that starter off. Alright, doing some re-recording because my uh, microphone quit um, on my media mod. But uh, I disconnected the battery cable coming down to the starter, 10 millimeter bolt. And then I was looking, the starter, one bolt looks like it comes clear through. The other one looks like it's inside the starter housing. So I'll have to probably pull the recoil starter off. And then um, I got on the back end, there's a bracket holding it up. and. Feels like a 10 millimeter bolt up there. I'm gonna try and take that out with just a wrench and just a little one little at a time. Don't know, because otherwise I gotta take the whole inner and outer belt covers off. Because I don't think I might be able to take this bolt out of the back of the starter and just loosen that and fish it out of there. We'll see. But uh I already uh Yeah, I've already took the footrest off, and I don't know if you ever worked on one of these old Polarises, but <laughs> when it comes out of the transmission, chain drive, and then the four-wheel drive on the front, <laughs> they two chains to get up there. I mean, this is, um, how should you say, quite the setup, <laughs> you know, uh, but it does work. Um, and like I said, probably have to take the chain apart because I doubt that I can uh, get that recoil starter out of there with the chain on there. Um, I can flip that back up because there's an access hole to get to the hard to get to bolt. And yeah, someone's been in here because looks like they've added washers onto a couple of the bolts. And um, I don't yeah, I don't think there's any oil in that thing, but I don't know, we're going to find out because I've never had one of these covers off, so we're going to do some learning together. We'll pop our master link off our chain. Let's try and do that without damaging it. That up, slide it down. Then we can pull that. Slide that apart and then that down and out of the way and I'll just loosely put this back together so I don't lose anything because I don't think that's original because I bet whoever took this apart last time lost the master link had to get a new one. Um, you know, I better go get, not knowing, because there is there is a drain plug on the bottom of that, looks like. 
Let's loosen it and see if anything comes out. Nope, nothing come out. And it might be just to drain water out if you get water in there, I guess. I fear it can't be sealed too good because there's a rope going through it. <laughs> Loosen these by hand. That is odd why they added washers, unless the bottoms of those holes are blind and they're silicone because it looks they might have went silicone happy when they put this thing back together. And then that comes right off. Oh yeah, no oil in there. And we got our starter drive. And our other starter bolt. Actually, I bet there's three bolts in the starter. And tons of silicone where they had it apart last time. So. But we'll clean all that out because you yeah, got a blind hole there and that's a blind hole. So I'm gonna lay down underneath and use a wrench. I probably probably won't have room for the camera, so I'll turn it back on after I uh get it the that back bracket on the starter loose. Well I ended up taking our Polaris Explorer and I got it. I put it all back together because he did not, uh, while I was working on taking it apart to mess with the starter, he called and got talking about what it was going to cost for parts and labor and a battery and he says, I'm young, I can pull start. Now not to say in uh, two weeks he won't be back wanting a starter, but uh, to give you the gist of what we, if you do decide to change it, You've got to pull the plastic on both sides, make up your foot well, which it's bolted underneath through the uh, frame. And then you got, if it's, everything was right, you'd have some screws front and rear, because this one's broke. And then there's screws that go from the plastic into the fender extension. You got to pull out. And then this will come out of there. Then you can take your recoil starter off. And get it out of the way because there's the three starter mounting bolts one of them is in the st starter cover the other two are behind the starter cover I got the cat out here helping me and then she is very helpful she says I can do it um, and of course I guess I, I'll probably put the just put this wire back on but this is the wire coming from the starter solenoid but then on the back of the starter is that uh, support bracket and that's the one that the hang up getting it uh, to those and that's where we come to this side that your variable speed belt you got your primary and secondary pulleys in here and that plastic cover that this outer cover bolts to is in the way. Now, this front one, when you take the bolt out of the center of it, you've got to have this tool which screws into that. And you torque her down and whack the end of it with a hammer to pop it off the motor because that is a taper fit up on the crankshaft. And then once you get that out of the way, take out a couple bolts. And I think you just pull the cover a little bit and be able to get a ratchet in there and take those bolts out. If need be, you can take the bolt out of the center of the secondary pulley. And it usually, I mean, if you have a uh, rubber hammer, you know, if you can't slide it off with by your hand, 
peck on a little bit with a rubber hammer and it'll slide off and then uh, of course you got to deal with the, the belt let's walk out and look at one of these I've got the cover off of that I just put a clutch on this is a, 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 a lot newer unit but yeah see here's where our bolt goes in and then once you take this bolt out this will screw in there and then this is a lot smaller bolt and this one slides off super easy once you get that bolt out that you can actually slide this one off and uh, pull it and take the belt off that this one I gotta go back and change the belt because I got the wrong belt on here and uh, it's too tight so I'm gonna go back with the OEM belt that hasn't arrived but uh, yeah this one it you know doesn't it always is pulling has really no free play in it so um, it doesn't uh, release all the way and run down in the bottom of the groove because this belt's just I mean it can't be more than a quarter of an inch too short but it doesn't work like we'd like so but yeah that's it and then yeah once you get the starter off yeah, it's reverse order procedure putting it back together and uh make sure you look up the torque on this because seems like the torque on this bolt was I think around 140 160 foot pounds and of course the rear one is only like you know 30 and I put uh, blue Loctite on threads of both to um, keep them in well I'm sorry that I uh, we end up not actually doing the complete repair on this but I figured a little bit of information is better than none that uh, you know because as old things like this if you want electric start they're going to go out so you need to know how to put one on that uh but other than that he's going to pull start that uh hey i appreciate you watching and uh just stay tuned because i'll tell them what else you're going to see on what's broke today thank you